hello everyone welcome to teach you video in today's video we will be learning about how to send data from esp8266 to a raspberry pi in this scenario we will have a sensors connected to esp and then esp will send data to raspberry pi we will be using mputt for messaging service as ESP will act as a client and Raspberry Pi will act as a server. So this will be the scenario. Sensor is connected to ESP266 and then ESP will send data via router through messaging protocol MQTT and then we have a server or Raspberry Pi which will act as a server on which we will subscribe to a topic through MQTT broker and then after getting data from ESP we will send to internet via Raspberry Pi and after sending data we can move that data to a cloud ThinkSpeak or a database called Firebase database so this is a quick scenario of what we are trying to achieve so what is MQTT? MQTT is a messaging protocol which is a simple and lightweight typically designed for device communication, IoT device communication. It has a publisher and subscriber architecture and there are three things to remember. We have a publisher which publish message, we have a subscriber which get data and we have a topic on which they both listen and share data. So in the first part we will be working on ESP8266 on which we will attach our sensor and then that sensor will send its data to our microcontroller or ESP. So in the first three lines we are defining and importing libraries. One is for ESP8266 Wi-Fi, the other is the for publish of subscriber client and the other is DHT which is a sensor library. Then we are defining SSID and password of our network and then we are defining MQTT server IP in this case Raspberry Pi IP will be inserted here then we are defining ESP and publisher subscriber then we are defining the DHT pin on which we will attach the sensor and then the set of Wi-Fi we are trying to connect with Wi-Fi the callback method will uh, will be triggered whenever the incoming message arrived this reconnect will make sure that we will make a successful connection with MQTT and Raspberry Pi then we have a setup method in which we are calling those above functions then we have a loop function in which we are calling read temperature and read humidity for getting data or uh, for calling the data of temperature and humidity and then saving that temperature and humidity to a specific variable we are doing this which is converting our float variable to a string and then we are publishing that on a specific topic this is the topic name ESP8266 temperature ESP8266 humidity first one will carry temperature data the other one will carry humidity temperature oh sorry humidity data and then we are just printing that humidity and temperature data so this was our client MQTT client which will send humidity and temperature data in the other part on the next part we will send this data to Raspberry Pi and listen to that topic and whenever the message arrived we will get this data and print it out on Raspberry Pi. So in the third part we will be working on Raspberry Pi so we need some libraries to work on and before the libraries 
you need to install those libraries so these are the commands which you need to run first you will update your raspberry pi and then you will upgrade your raspberry pi and after that you will install mosquito which will be used for mqtt purpose then we have some commands like mosquito d which will start uh, mqtt process in the background so to, to just run for an example i am just i just run this mosquito d command which will start the process and then i will just use this create a publisher and subscriber just for example so as I run this command it will subscribe on this topic testing and I just need another terminal to publish my message so I will copy this message and then I will paste this and it will print it will publish message and just terminate so in the subscriber tab I get the message which was published so that's how this whole cycle of MQTT works you publish some message and then you will subscribe uh, get the message on that topic so just uh, terminate terminate it by pressing ctrl c and now i will open ide which is built in python ide which is built in in M uh, os uh, raspberry pi os and uh, i'm importing some libraries library called paho you need to install that library by uh, by installing pip install paho mqtt or pip3 install paho mqtt then you will import that and then i'm using its function called on connect and on message in which i am subscribing to those defined topics and when a message arrive on that topic i'm just printing on my terminal then in the main function i am calling those above functions on connect on message and then I am calling loop start to just wait until the message arrive so to pause that or to terminate this program you need to press ctrl c so let's run this code so as you can see I am ju I just un attach my Arduino and just give it give them up some power so as you can see I just connect my Arduino with my sensor and it's publishing my messages of humidity and temperature and on Raspberry Pi I'm receiving those messages so in on topic humidity ESP8266 humidity I'm getting its value and on temperature I'm getting its relevant value so that's how this whole procedure works you publish some message and then you receive some message you have a client and then you have a server the client will send their messages to their server and then that server will send those messages to cloud or database so in today's video we learn about how to connect sensors with ESP and how to make it a client and then how to send this client messages or readings to a router or oh sorry to a server and then on on the server side we get some messages through MQTT and then we just print our data or messages on our server so this was the whole exercise for today in the next exercise on the next part we will try to send this data to a database and then to some cloud so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you so much